Okay, hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 3 where it has been ages once more since I last played. Wow. It's been almost a month. <laughs> oh my gosh! Uh, so I just checked, we just finished Benning, if I'm reading this correctly. Um, or if I'm remembering correctly. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to actually go to Tuchanka and get the, um... Oh, gee, why, why? There's the Cerberus attack on the old military installation on Tuchanka. So we're going to do that. Sort by the oldest. Or the oldest at the bottom. Yes. <laughs> Okay, so I believe we <clears throat> oh galding oh, okay that's fine too. I don't believe talking to anybody at this point will change too much, so because if we just did Benning, then it's not a main mission, you know. Pretty sure I probably already fed my fish. Oh, all right, let's do that. Liara, you had something you wanted to discuss in my cabin? Yes, I'll be right up. <laughs> this song makes me so sad. Come on in. Ah. Thank you. Could we sit? I've been thinking about the knowledge we gathered on the Reapers and how easily it could be lost again. So, I put a plan in motion to preserve things for the future. Liara's on top of things. What's this? A record of the galaxy. Information on the Reapers, relays, different cultures, and blueprints of the Crucible. But there's one entry I wanted your opinion on. Which one? I love Shepard in this part, too. <laughs> I just... <sighs> I'd be honored to have your input. How would you like history to remember you? 50,000 years is a long time for a computer to sit around. Please, I was an archaeologist. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. Exactly. <laughs> I'm encasing these records in time capsules and seeding copies on multiple planets. And while it's not foolproof, the VI I'm installing has every translation and linguistics program I could find. So it's an information guide like Vigil on Ilos? Yes. I've been preparing it for some time. And it will be a privilege to guide the future <laughs> discoveries of these records. Have you decided what you would like Dr. Tassoni to write? I like your seeing Glyph in the top of it. It's like, oh, no book. <laughs> no baby Glyph. <laughs> but no, this part, I don't know. They really did, they did, really did a good job. Making Mass Effect 3 show a bit more of Shepard's personal character. Like, you always see it before, but in 3, it's just so much more poignant. Maybe because it's the end of everything, but at the same time, I don't know. It really does just kind of bring tears to your eyes. And it's interesting, it's like, it's, I wonder, like, what if we, like, there would be such an, it would be so interesting, like, if we had the option to fail. And we could play another species or something in the next 50,000 years finding this stuff. Like, how heartbreaking would that be if that's the direction? I mean, it would have been interesting. But what if that was the direction they decided to go with? Was that we didn't have the time in Mass Effect 3. Whatever we had done was, it was not for naught, but it wasn't enough in our time. And we had to give that information to the next generation 50,000 years down the line. That would have been really interesting. Heartbreaking, but interesting. Put down the truth. Good, bad. Don't leave anything out. Let history be the judge. I'll give them the facts. Let me just delete all these breathless passages on your heroics. <laughs> <laughs> you writing anything I can't live up to? I can't help myself. You're a good friend, Shepard. Shepard is amazing! You've been there for me too, Liara. No, I haven't. I wish I could have joined you back on Ilium. You made up for it. Well, well, 
I suppose I did just write your name in the stars. That's exactly what you did. <laughs> I like it. A little peaceful moment. Uh, I love that. I love that part. <laughs> like, even when you're not romancing Liara, that's such a very, just a really touching moment. <sighs> Hamster, how you doing? Uh, save, save your energy, little frog. You got, you got a big role to play eventually. <laughs> all right, we're all good. Huh. Let me just not cry, okay? I'll bet you the jellyfish don't come until after the big hullabaloo at the citadel, or yeah, at the citadel. I'm really glad, apparently in Andromeda, they're working on the verticality of their fighting environments and exploratory environments. Because a sniper is basically at a huge disadvantage in Commander. this game. Like, there's nowhere to really put snipers. Like, you know? So... Is this the system that I messed up? <laughs> so before we go back to the um, to the Citadel, I want to get at least one more uh, N7 mission-y thing. Or like one more thing to drop off, you know? In these missions where you actually get to go down and like do something really cool. Ah, no go. <laughs> Carol the Jennifer, you know. We're just gonna go investigate Cerberus. Don't get your knickers in a twist just yet. I'm not ready to have more than an Eve leave. I ain't ready for it. James will be coming. And... Garrus. Yes. My yes, I am an infiltrator. I am a sniper in this one. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. There should be plenty of ranged opportunities for me and Garrus. I believe... Let's check you. You should be fine. Increases the damage. Increases the accuracy. What does this one do? Stability. Capacity's not a big deal. Let's do that one. Yeah. That one's good. I believe we messed with James loadout recently. Garrus is using the mantis. Oh, we should take off the ultralight. Do you want that one, Garrus? That one would probably be helpful for you. Yeah. Have one of those. Okay. We're good. We good. I love the Tachanka loading screen. Probably because it's one of the few that actually shows your shuttle landing on the planet. Which, again, I'm looking forward to in Andromeda. They've done away with, like, traditional loading screens, basically. And everything is, is supposed to be a fairly seamless transition from, like, ship to shuttle to planet. Red Service's landing forces away from the Tachunka battlefields. Their target seems to be an ancient ground-to-space cannon facility that hasn't been used since the Krogan Rebellions. The site has no obvious military advantage, and the Krogan are spread too thin to deal with it. Do we know what Cerberus is up to? No, but we do know that Cerberus doesn't act without a Getting plan. Getting those power energy get cells. There, stop them. Find out what they're up to while you're at it. We'll get it done. See to it. Pack it out. Ah! I'll go back up, get a read on what they're shooting at. Get on it. Get on it. All right, let's find the control room for those cannons. Kill uh, anything in our way. Kill anything in Sounds our way. Sounds simple enough. 
Garrus! Garrus! Where, oh, there's something over there. Oh, hey. I get started in the middle of the battle and I miss what he says. Ever, happened last time too. Where are you at? Oh shoot, there's a turret so oh no! James! Don't go over by the turret! Uh Did we get it? Uh well, oh god. I don't think the proximity mine will work. Whew, okay. Whoa! Grenade though. Nope. I can see you. Sort of maybe. Oh, there you are. Got you. Oh, I should put ammo uh something up. Cryo. James, are you gonna melee him? anything? Probably not. <laughs> I see you. Um, there, how's that? Oh, I didn't do anything! James! Dang it! There we go. Absolutely nothing to do. Okay, quick. Okay. Sure. Oh, we did and it. I think it's time to test this cannon. We did it. I believe, I think last time I searched all around this area, and I didn't realize how much space there was and how narrow we had kept our, our field of attack, really. That's true, there was a lot of ways you could do th I guess if you're a um if you're a vanguard it would have been nice to jump around and jump around. As a sniper though, I kinda need to entrench myself. Pretty sure there isn't anything, but I'm gonna give it a little I'm gonna give it a look. I know that the uh the power daily walks that we need to pick up is in is in uh the main facility. Oh, and this is a pretty good glance at uh, Tachanka. 
I brought James because James said he wanted to go to Tachanka. It's a big gun. Were they? It was, I called it. I always miss. I always miss what he says he's shooting at. It's not I'm not shooting at the Normandy. Can't ever remember though. Shepard looks so cool. I love these pants. And like this tunnel, this totally reminds me of Mass Effect One when you're on Ilos. Oh, no, not Ilos. Uh, what's it called? Uh, it could be Ilos. It could remind you of Ilos. Um. Avaria, whichever one is not the icy planet where there's the the ruins. Ah, oh, here we go. I, I knew I knew there probably was something that I could pick up here, besides that other thing. Do I? How many med kits do I have? I think six is my max, so. Okay, just making sure. That, is that a Turian ship? I think it's a Turian ship. How easily how easy it is to just bonk everybody from the central location but that they've made it so broad like they didn't throw nearly enough people at you to make this large area worth it it seems like can we what are you god dang what are you There you go. Not the kind of Krogan relic I expected to find. Oh, dang it. I meant to say that. That's right. I just saw a glittery thing. And... They're pulling the plug. You'll need to get the power back on. Let's move. All right. Maybe now. Maybe now this is a good reason. <sighs> They're mailing them in. Mailing them in. Maybe now. Okay. Okay. This way. This way. That's apparently what I'm going to get. Come around. I hate you. Do I have I just I just have the scorpion? Why do I have why do I have the scorpion? I'll use it. <laughs> A nemesis. Oh shoot. Dang it. <laughs> Blow up! Yay! That would suck to look down and realize that there's a bomb attached to you. It really is the cutest thing, this weapon. Oh, hi. Oh, I missed you. On your head. And there's another guy. Whoa, you don't even have to wait. It, it fires a little faster than I thought it did. See, I don't know if I can get it from here. Okay, you did. Awesome! <laughs> it's fun! I like this one. Where are they coming from, James? Quick, 
pick up some ammo. But you know, it was not really that close, but just to be sure. Let's uh let's throw Oh shoot, they had the same idea. Move, Shepard. Grenades. How come they have this super fancy technology for smoke grenades and we don't? We got done? Combat stuff that's not good. Not good for me, anyway. And you guys just. Back all the things I said earlier. Still, they kind of oddly forced you to move around the map. This makes me miss Mass Effect 2. Are we got then? Can I? Oh, oh shoot! There's the power thingy. That's right. That's right. I've been supposed to have been doing the power thing. So where are they? We could just punch it, but oh, come on. What? You're not gonna let me freaking slice it open, but you let me snipe it open. That was the whole reason we were out here, was to reactivate the power. Where are we at? 
that. What? Another one? Go. I thought I got them both. Did I? Oh, did I not press one of them? I'm an idiot. Did I not? I think I, I think I might have. Yeah, I think I didn't. No, I did. I did both of them on the ones that it showed me. I totally did. What? I've rerouted the power to the main console. Heading back now. Because Shepard knows how to do everything. That's what they teach you in military school. Where are my pals? Pals! Shoot. I was not paying attention. Damn. Sorry, pals. I probably... <laughs> I already got the achievement for uh, shooting... <coughs> for shooting them through the little knobby thing. Can we... We can't like sneak around, can we? like attempting to sneak up on us over here. Oh good. Glad I blew myself up. Oh come on. Okay. Oh dang it. Too close, you gotta you gotta punch him. Did you just oh he just died. Shoot, there's somebody off there's somebody flanking us. Show me something.
going? Stand up, I dare you! Your, your goal in life is to just hang out around me. You're not as I guess it's true. Okay, you are a defense drone. You're not you're not the offensive drone. Okay. Okay, I'll forgive you for not being what I wanted. Done. Oh my gosh, not done. Where are you coming from? Coming from in there? How about I just stop trying to sabotage my stuff? Got you. Boys. Look at this funny little cloud of smoke. Commander, cruiser initiating bombardment. Cannon control restored. Targeting enabled. Coordinates, Lieutenant. Uploaded. Firing. Oh, that's not a Turian one? That's what I'm talking about. All right. Good work, everyone. Yeah, I oh, oh shoot, I forgot to do the the right stick. Oh well. Also, woohoo! <laughs> I forgot. I think it shows like it zooms in on it firing into the sky. But it was blending in with the console in front of me. 
So there was like Reaper forces. Oh, no, there was a Cer that was a Cerberus ship up there, I think. Shepard, with those Krogan cannons operational, Cerberus has actually given us the advantage in that system. The enemy's pulling back, but we think they'll try to seize the facility again. Seems likely. I'm sending an Alliance team to keep it secure. They've got a foothold in a strong defensive position, thanks to you. Glad to hear it. Good work, Commander. Hack it out. Woohoo! Look at us. Let's see. Come on. Krogan. The Krogan First Division is a conglomerate ration of infantry and vehicles hastily organized into a single coalition force. Chain of command is divided by clan with representatives from each serving as officers. Despite ancient differences, fighting the reapers together is building a spirit of camaraderie among the division's warriors. Working from different clans are starting to swap equipment, stories, and even the occasional barrel of ring call. Yay! War just brings everybody together, doesn't it? How nice. I guess we'll go we'll go drop off what we have. We could be on the front lines. Why have they got us guarding the door anyway? It's gonna break ranks right now. War makes people stupid. Besides, we talked with Moreau. Electric basically just couldn't get up the crew. Damn. Okay, I guess we gotta be ready for anything to come through that door. Hmm. <laughs> yep. Okie dokie. We'll drop a couple of things off at the Citadel. No, we're not doing all those things yet. Leave me alone. I don't want to. 